Welcome to PCLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be learning on the topic uh, vectors from two math, and our subtopic is the multiplication of column vectors. So initially, we talked about the division, uh, the subtraction of column vectors and addition of column vectors. So today there's a concept you're going to just sort of like recap on what we discussed before. When you were introducing uh, vectors, you talked about scalar vectors as well, a scalar value. And we used that also in some of the calculations that we did when we were doing products of a positive scalar and a product of a negative scalar. So, and fractional scalar. So that is the concept you are just continuing with in this lesson. In such that now we are using column vectors to multiply with uh, scalars. So it's an actual now vector, it's not an unknown. So when you talk about a vector, it can be multiplied by a scalar. This is a number by multiplying each component of that scale with that by that scalar. What I mean is this, so if we have the X unit and the Y unit, so if you have a scalar, the scalar is going to uh, multiply with the x unit and the y unit, just like you are adding separately the x units and the y units. This is what it, I say. So if you have a scalar k and you have a column vector a, b, so when you multiply with scalar k, it's going to multiply each unit. So k times a and k times b. Let's take an example. You have been given a, 3, 7, b, 2, negative 4, and C, negative 3, and negative 4. So you have been told to look for 2A and represent it on the plane. So 2A, a value of 2 is a scalar. So 2, and then our A values is 3, 7. So we are going to multiply 2 with each unit. So it's going to be 2 times 3 and 2 times 7. So this is going to give us 6. 2 times 7 is 14. So this is our vector. We're going to move 6 units on the <coughs> x-axis or x uh, on the x side, but it is positive, so we're going to move on the positive side and 14 on the uh, y uh, side and it's on the positive side. So if we, if we decide to, this is our starting point, it's going to be 6 units, so positive, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 14 steps, so we go 14 upwards, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So our terminal point is going to be at this point. So after that, you just join your vector using a straight line. Make sure you are is having a straight line. Right, final, the next question is 2a plus 3b. So 2a, it means it's 2 times a is 3, 7. You see now how they are adding addition in this uh, question. So sometimes it can be like this. It is not purely just multiplication. Maybe it's multiplication added with addition or subtraction. Then plus three into bracket, our b is going to be two, negative four. So this is going to be two times three and two times seven into bracket minus three times two, it's plus not minus, and three times negative four. So this is going to give us so 2 times 3 is going to be 6, and then 2 times 7 is 14, plus 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times negative 4 is going to be negative 12. So 6 plus 6, this is now going to be 6 plus 6, and 14 plus negative 12. This is going to give us 12, 14 plus minus 12 becomes 2. So our vector is we are going to move 12 steps on the x-axis with 12 uh, with two steps on the y-axis. So we can start our, our vector here. So 12 steps, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then two steps on the positive direction on the y-axis. So one, two, so the final vector is here. 
So you join these two with a straight line. Great. So next, so we have A is 4, 7 and B is 3, negative 5. C is C, 0, 4. So you have been taught to look for 3A. This is very direct. So it is a scalar 3 multiplying by 4, 7. This is the same as 3 times 4 and 3 times 7, which gives us 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 7 is 21. So this is going to be a bit large. So we are moving 12 steps on the x-axis and 21 steps on the y-axis. So let's see if it's possible for us to get 21 steps on the y-axis first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our, our, our plane can only handle up to 16. So you can try this out uh, in your graph paper. So negative 2b. So you see now we have a negative scalar multiplying a vector, column vector. So it's still multiplication, but in this case now negative. So it's going to be negative 2. Our b is 3, negative 5. So let's open it up. So the same as negative 2 times 3, over, not over. And negative 2 times negative 5. So this is going to give us negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 5 gives us positive 10. Remember, negative times negative is positive. So we are moving six steps on the x-axis, but on the opposite side, and 10 steps on the y-axis on the positive side. So six steps, one. So if this is our starting point, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then upwards, 10 steps, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is going to be our terminal, and then you join using a straight line. And then this is going to be our vector. And then we have a uh, 3c minus 3a. So this is the same as so 5 into bracket c is 0, 4, minus 3 into bracket a is 4. 7. So this is the same as 5 times 0, 5 times 4. You subtract 3 times 4 and 3 times 7. So this will give us 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 4 is 20, minus 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 7 is 21. So this is the same as 0 minus 12 and 20 minus 21. This will give us 0 minus 12 is negative 12 and 20 minus 21 is 1. So we are moving 12 steps on the y-axis and on the x-axis and y one step on the y-axis. And on the x-axis is negative. So this is this is our starting point. We are going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then one step upwards, 1. So this is going to be our final point. This is our beginning point. So you join this with a straight line. So this is going to be our vector. So finally, we have this question and then we will be done. So A is 3, 1 and B is negative 2, 7. C is 6, 5 and D is 0, 5. So 3B plus C. So 3 into bracket B is negative 2, 7 plus C which is 6, 5. So this is the same as 3 times negative 2, 3 times 7, then plus 6, 5. So 3 times 2 is negative 6, 3 times 7 is 21, then plus 6, 5. So this is the same as negative 6 plus 6 and 21 plus 5. So this will give us 0, and then 21 plus 5 is 26. So that's it. So we have seen in the situation now you need to represent it in a, in a uh, graph.
enough and also we've seen how we can remit addition subtraction so you should be able to multiply add and subtract column vectors you can check more revision questions in the app and note on the same so see you in the next lesson